All right, YouTube, here's a shot of my homemade water ionizer. Uh, it's the typical design with the two tanks. You know, and I got the electrical wires. This is going back to batteries, though. And I got a little voltmeter in here. See, right now it's at 36.9. Well, if we're made up of 60 to 70% water, it pays to have the good stuff in us, right? So let's do a little test here and take some of this. Roundy's purified drinking water. I'll do a pH test on it real quick. All right, let's see what we get. I notice this will sink down a little bit. Uh, 8.4, it's getting worse. 8.3. The best drinking water I ever tested was 9.5. I don't recall the name of it. But, uh, yeah, it's just, well, this has been sitting on a counter for a while, I don't know, a couple weeks. So let's try some tap water. Let's see what that means. Eight four. Well, looks like all we're gonna get is eight four. Which means the tap water is still better than the purified drinking water. All right. Let's see what my machine did here. I'm pulling this from the negative side. Ten point two. That's pretty good. I first had this hooked up to twenty four volts, you know, just two batteries, and I was stuck at nine seven. Let's see what the acidic side is. Well, as that's sinking, we'll come back to that. I don't know if you could see the pile of crud that's on the bottom of there. This side is pretty clean. There is no sponge in there. Lou, I do have a shut off valve in between there. And the only thing I put in there was a little bit of salt. And I put about that much of a teaspoon on each side. And that was running for about 12 hours. I think what I'm going to try and do is run it at maybe 48 volts and see if I could do better. Well, here's what the acidic side leveled off at 7.8. Now, after I'm done treating the water in here, what I'll do is I'll bring it over to this water purification system. And this is supposed to remove fluoride and chlorine as well. So the only problem I'm having with this is it takes a long time to cycle through. I mean, just this little bit of water took like six hours to accumulate. So I'll probably get another one of those and I'll be going in the dog bowl as well. I guess this acidic water I use for the plants.